All right, let's go ahead and go through some of these problems. The first one, we need to name the parent function and describe the transformation. Well, I'm going to sketch the parent function on this one. It's an absolute value. So if I were to sketch that, I would have a V-shaped, just like that. And that is within the grouping symbols, the absolute value, and it's minus three, so that, and it's paired with the X, so that tells me right or left. And with that minus, it's telling me that it's going right three, so I'm taking that vertex, which is at zero, zero, and transforming it to the right three. And that's what it would look like. Uh, on B, we have a line that is reflected and um, shifted to the right four. Actually, I don't usually pay too much attention to that. I just graph it as a regular line, and you should get something like that. All right, uh, number or letter C is another transformation. This is my parent function. I'm going to go ahead and just sketch that parent function. And I'm actually going to transform that parent function this time. So let's put those two together. And I'm going to be moving this to the left two and down four. So, oops. Make sure I'm moving that. Oops, again. Doesn't seem to want to grab onto that, so maybe I won't do that. Um, left two. Let's, let's try it one more time. No. Nope. Oh, well. It was an idea. So let's go ahead and left two, down four. One, two, three, four. Its vertex is right there now. And that's what it should look like with straight lines. All right, on D, we have a quadratic. And if I were going to sketch that, I would have a U shape like this. And I am going to be flipping that upside down and moving it to the right two. So upside down and to the right two. All right, so let's go ahead and describe the transformation. So this one is going to be a reflection over the X. B is going to be, because it's paired with the X, it's going to be a shift to the right one unit. C, you're adding it outside, you're really adding it to the Y value, so that is going to be a shift up three units. Uh, D is going to be, uh, that's a plus two, so that is going to be left two, down one. And on E, we're making the X negative, so that is going to be a reflection over the y axis. Remember to reflect over the x, we make our y's negative. To reflect over the y's, we make the x's negative. All right, so let's go ahead and look at problem number three. So on that one, we want to write an expression g of x 
that represents the function f of x shifted in the following ways. Well, down one, you just take your f function and move it down one. A reflection through the x-axis, you take and make it negative. Right five, that means it needs to be paired through, paired with the x, so g of x is going to be f of x minus five. All right, on d, we have a couple things going for us. We're going left three, up one, so that's going to be f of x plus 3, that tells me my left, and then up 1. And a reflection through the y-axis, that means I make my x's negative. There you go. All right, here we want to sketch f of x plus 3. Well, what that really means is I'm going to be taking each of those points and moving it up three units. And then I just want to go ahead and draw my lines in between. And there I go. All right. The next one, I think that's supposed to be a five there. The graph shows the distance f of x, you walk in Brown County State Park if you leave at 8 a.m. If you leave at 11, what is um, the transformation going to be? Well, right here is 8. 11 is going to be three more hours, so there would be 9, 10, 11. So, that's where I'm starting. Everything is just being shifted to the right three. It's going to be a little bit off the graph, but we can handle that. All right, I'm going to just freehand this. Bear with me. All right, not the best drawing, but you get the idea. All right, now we get to model a linear equation. How much will you spend in 10 days? Well, let's come up with an equation. So I am going to use the ordered pair right here of 2, 60, and right there, 4, 120. First thing I need to do is come up with the slope. My slope is going to be the difference of my y's over the difference of my x's. So I'm going to get 60 over 2, which is 30. So that really means I'm spending $30 a day. So then I'm going to use point slope. I'm going to choose one of those points. I'm going to choose that one just because it has smaller numbers. y minus y1 equals m, which in this case is 30, times x minus x sub 1, which in this case is 2. So let's go ahead and simplify that. y minus 60 equals 30x minus 60. Looks like y is just going to be 30x. So how much will I spend in 10 days? Well, in 10 days, that's my input. So that's going to be y equals 30 times 10, which is 300. And looking at the graph, that does seem like a reasonable answer, $300. Oh, that was a really bad dollar sign, sorry. All right, 
subst uh, solve by substitution or elimination. Well, I'm thinking substitution for the first one. So I'm going to get 2x um, plus x plus 1 equals 7. 3x plus 1 equals 7. Subtract 1. x is going to be 2. Plug that back in right there, and I'm going to just do that in my head. Y is 3. So my final answer is 2, 3. Uh, I already have opposite coefficients, so I'm just going to add those together. And that's going to give me negative 2. X is 2. I'm going to plug that into the top equation. 10 plus 2y equals 12. Subtract 10. y is 1. So 2, 1. All right, on the next one, it looks like b is equal to both of those. So I'm going to set them do really kind of a substitution, just set them equal to each other. 2a minus 5 equals 3 plus a. Subtract a from both sides, add 5, and you get a equals 8, and b is 11. So you go alphabetical, 8. 11. All right. The grocery store sells bags of apples for $5 and bags of lemons for 8. You buy 6 bags and spend 45. How many did you um, spend? Or how many of each did you buy? Well, I'm going to let apples, the number of bags, be A and lemons, L. So I got six bags, so A plus L equals six. And I spent $45, so 5A plus 8L is 45. So those are my two equations. I think I'm going to eliminate my a's, so I'm going to multiply that top one by negative 5, and I'm going to get negative 5a minus 5l equals negative 30. Rewrite the bottom one. 5a plus 8l equals 45. Add those together and I'm going to get 3L equals 15 or the number of bags of lemons is 5 which would make the number of apples 1. Alright, solve the systems. Alright, don't overthink this one. I'm going to start right there and I get Z is negative 3. So that tells me one of my answers. Then I'm going to plug it into the middle one. 2x minus 3 equals 1. x is 2. Well, we know x and we know z. Let's find y. So 2 plus y minus 3 equals negative 2. y minus 1 equals negative 2. It looks like y, add 1 to both sides, is negative 1. All right. Find the slope. I'm only going to do one of these because they all do the same pattern. Uh, you subtract your y's. 
subtract your x's. So there's my y. So 5 minus 4. And then you subtract your x's. Negative 3 minus 2. And that is going to give me 1 over negative 5. Uh, we want to write the equation in slope intercept. Use point slope. Y minus Y sub 1 equals M times X minus X sub 1. Simplify by using the distributive property. Add 5 to both sides. And there's my answer. All right. Enjoy.